वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम फाइव डैश फोर्टी वन सो स्टेटमेंट इज द ए थर्टी सिक्स स्टील ट्यूबुलर शॉफ्ट इज टू मीटर लॉन्ग एंड हैज एन आउटर डायमीटर ऑफ फिफ्टी मिलीमीटर वैन इट इज रोटेटिंग एट फोर्टी रेडियस पर सेकेंड इट ट्रांसमिट ट्वेंटी फाइव किलो वाट पावर फ्राम मोटर एम टू पम्प पी डिटरमाइन द स्मॉलेस्ट थिकनेस ऑफ ट्यूब इफ द लाइबल शेयरिंग स्ट्रेस इज एटी मेगा पास का सो दिस इज मोटर एम विच इज ट्रांसमिटिंग पावर टू दिस पम्प यूजिंग दिस ट्यूबुलर ट्यूब having outer diameter 40 mm and length is 2 meter long and that is made up of a36 steel and it is rotating at 4 radi 40 radian per second so all the data has been mentioned over here that is given data so we have to find the smallest thickness t of the tube so let's start with the solution so we know that uh, power which is represented as p and that is equal to the product of torque into angular velocity so what we will do is that we will find the torque so torque will be equal to power divided by angular velocity so power is given as 25 kilowatts so 25 into 10 to the power 3 divided by angular velocity is 40 radian per second so there is no need to change it so when you calculate it you will get torque is equal to 625 newton into meter so torque is equal to 625 newton into meter now we know that maximum shearing stress due to torque or torsion is equal to or allowable shearing stress is equal to torque into c divided by jp आर जे वे जे इज द पोलर मूवमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया सो टा इलाबल इज गिवन एज एटी मेगा पास का सो एटी इंटू टेन एस टू पावर सिक्स इज इक्वल टू टार्क विच इज सिक्स ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड वी नो दैट वी हैव दिस ट्यूबुलर शॉफ्ट क्लियर सो इट्स आउटर डायमीटर इज डी नॉट विच इज आउटर डायमीटर एंड सी सी विल बी इक्वल टू दिस विल बी द C or C naught, so C naught is equal to D naught divided by two, and that is equal to zero point zero five zero meter divided by two. Clear? That is equal to zero point zero two five meter. That is C naught. So here C is maximum distance from neutral axis till outermost, so it will be equal to C naught, and that is zero point zero two five. Divide by J is the polar moment of inertia for for tubular shaft. It is equal to pi by two C outer. So C outer minus C inner power four. So I will write it. Et into ten to the power six is equal to six twenty five. Multiply by zero point zero two five. Divide by pi by 2 c outer is 0.025 power 4 minus c inner power 4 we do not know c inner so what we will do is that if you multiply this term with this so it will be equal to pi by 2 into 80 into 10 to the power 6 is equal to 625 multiply by 0.025 and we will left with 0.025 power 4 minus ci power 4 so we are interested to find out ci so i will take 0.025 power 4 minus ci power 4 is equal to 625 multiply by 0.025 divide by pi by 2 into 80 into 10 to the power 6 okay so what we will do is that 0.025 power 4 minus this term 625 into 10 into 0.025 divided by pi by 2 into 80 into 10 to the power 6 will be equal to ci power 4 so again you will get uh, 
सी आई इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो टू फाइव पावर फोर माइनस सिक्स ट्वेंटी फाइव मल्टीप्लाई बाई जीरो पॉइंट जीरो टू फाइव डिवाइड बाई पाई बाई टू इंटू एटी इंटू टेन एस टू पावर सिक्स एंड यू हैव टू टेक द फोर्थ पावर रूट क्लियर सो वेन यू सॉल्व दिस यू विल गेट सी आई विल बी इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो डबल टू सेवन टू मीटर्स आर यू कैन से सी आई विल बी इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी टू पॉइंट सेवन क्लियर so you can see you have this is c not and this is ci this is ci and ci is 22.7 mm or uh, that is equal to 0.0227 meters so we know that this is the thickness t this is the thickness t so we know that uh, c outer is equal to uh, c inner plus thickness t so thickness t will be equal to c outer minus c inner so c outer is uh, 50 mm uh, sorry c outer is 25 mm because diameter is given as 50 so c outer is 50 mm it is given over here diameter is d outer is 0.050 so c outer is 50 uh, divided by 2 which is equal to 25 again i have to write it 25 minus c inner is 22.7 clear so when you calculate it you will get 2.3 mm and this is the minimum thickness of this tubular shaft and that was all about this problem 5-41 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos if you have any question you can ask me in comment section so thank you for watching